instead of stopping agentic work, we need to find a way to establish the guardrails, which I know you agree with because we talked about it. The first one I'd love to start with, Eric, is the exceedingly dual-use nature of this tech, right? It's applicable to both civilian and military applications. So how do you broadly think about the dilemmas and ethical quandaries that come with this tech and how humans deploy them? The U.S. military has a rule called 3000.09, generally known as human in the loop, or meaningful human control. You don't want systems that are not under our control. It's like it's a line we can't cross. I think that the competition between the West, and particularly the United States, and China is going to be defining in this area. And I'll give you some examples. If China were to deny access to them, that would be a big deal. This proliferation is dangerous at the cyber level and the bio level. But let me give you why it's also dangerous in, in a more significant way, in a nuclear threat way. You're the good guy, and I'm the bad guy, okay? I will not be able to catch you, and I've given you the tools to reinvent the world, and in particular, destroy me. Bomb your data center. Now, do you think I'm insane? These conversations are occurring around nuclear opponents today in our world. There are legitimate people saying the only solution to this problem is preemption. The foreign policy people have not thought about this, and this is coming, probably five years. So this fight, this battle, will be the defining battle. Dr. Kissinger talked about the likely path to war with China was by accident. And he was a student of World War I. You can imagine a series of steps along the lines of what I'm talking about that could lead us to a horrific global outcome. That's why we have to be paying attention. So when I look at this future, I want to be clear that the arrival of this intelligence, both at the AI level, the AGI, which is general intelligence, and then super intelligence, is the most important thing that's going to happen in about 500 years, maybe 1,000 years in human society, and it's happening in our lifetime. So don't screw it up.